Hi everyone, uh, my name is Monar Mukul. In this video, I will show you a log output if you execute a, a single playbook to install Oracle Grid Infrastructure Software, um, Oracle Rack Database Software, and after that, create two Node Rack Database um, or uh, Rack Container Database. Um, uh, uh, I will put link um, for the GitHub repository where from you can get uh, the required codes. So now let's go through um, my GitHub repository. Here you can see there are different roles, um, uh, but uh, for this uh, particular um, video that I'm going to to produce it's just using three roles um, together uh, first one is rack gi21 c install to um, installing grid infrastructure then next one is rack db sub 21 c install to um, install rack uh, db software and after that i'm going to execute a uh, role so rack db21 c create so to create um, rack db database let's go to readme file uh, I put some description here so you can go through that one. Uh, so if you go down below. So um, here you see that um, if you would like to play individually, you can do that one too. Just enable the respective uh, roles um, so that uh, like um, it will do only that particular part um, like here is the rack db soft and then after that um, to create two node rack db it just rack db 21 c create please note that um, for um, uh, this um, software installation i have already downloaded and staged all the required uh, like GI and rack software um, and also created um, Oracle ASM disk or prepared all ASM disk uh, that I'm going to use and um, also other thing that I would like to let you know that uh, this output um, there are many things based on my own lab setup so definitely when you're going to use this one you need to modify the vars file especially based on your own setup uh, based on your own uh, requirements so now let's go to um, party session So here you see that master playbook oracle gi and rack 21c.yml and um, hosts in my case is your x1 and your x2 that is node 1 and node 2 and there are three roles defined and sequentially so it will follow other so i'm executing playbook it will take a um, few hours uh, based on your own operating system resource our own lab setup so i did a pause here now it's finished so i'm going to uh, go through with the logs information or what it did so if you see here so you see that it created all the required um, uh, groups and required directories after that here you see that um, create grid required directories then required directories um, relate to oracle user then copy the required software from stage directory to the uh, defined path in my verse file unpacking oracle grid software transfer cluster verification utility uh, check that one then installation of uh, gi software here you see that successfully set up warning message was uh, for not having enough memory in my lab setup uh, then it's going through or I root for the node one the output is here for node two
here is root dot sh output for the first node Here is the output uh, for the second node. Now it's doing config tool software installation. Then I'm checking CRS resources and status here. Cluster resource status here, cluster status here, and post installation. So, rack grid infrastructure software install has been successfully completed. Now, you see here it's going through next role, so it is installing Oracle Rack database software, and installing Oracle database software. an output message that um, successfully set up software then executing root script uh, on node 1 Here is output to root.ssh on node 2. So then post message after database software installation check. So you see that software has been completed installation successfully. And here is the message for that one. So it's finished and it's going for the next role which is in creating rack database. So it's this phase is creating record is group because I defined for that one for uh, my DB recovery area. If not there, create a disk group. Now it's creating database. You can see the like uh, log output. And after that, I'm setting up some. Uh, setting up or updating uh, some parameters and changing user's password. So if you see here that um, is getting the information and I set up compatible parameter, I um, then change some password Paul, and to reflect the compatible parameter uh, restart uh, cluster database and checking instances uh, it's uh, both instances are up node 1 and node 2 and it's the final message that you see that um, database um, the task created task successfully completed so here we have completed all three tasks by executing a single playbook uh, so um, uh, i hope um, that makes us life much easier as a dba Instead of 100 commands, we are just executing a single command. So that's it for now. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.